Hi there, it's Moham here from Anna Money and I'm here making a quick video to show you how you can submit your VAT return for free to HMRC using Anna's VAT filing tool. If you do like this video, then please do like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making useful content for you. And any of the tools that I do mention within this video, you can find a link to in the description box below. It'll be just a quicker way for you to locate the tool on our page rather than having to go through the steps that I'll show you. But of course, I'll show you exactly where they are on the website as well so that it's easier for you to find. So this page is the um, Anna VAT filer page, which I'm assuming you found under your free tools section on the website, which is just here at the bottom of the page. And it looks something like this. Um, to actually locate the VAT filing tool, all you'd need to do is click start now for free. What that will do is it will take you to the business tools section of our website, which you need to create an account for. So if you click start for now, bear in mind that I already have an account with us. So it skipped the page which shows you how to create an account. All you need to do is pop in your email address and follow the step-by-step -step guide and it will create a completely free account for you which will then lead you to this website here this is the business tools section and free and the VAT filing section which is where basically you'll be able to access the tool and can and submit your VAT return so the first thing what you'll need to do is connect to HMRC the reason that we need to do that is so that we can actually submit the VAT return from the ANA tool to HMRC using the compatible bridging software, which is compliant to NTD. So once you click that, it will basically take you to the ANA, um, sorry, not the ANA website, to the government gateway portal, which you're more than familiar with, and um, ask you to pop in your login details, which you'll also be familiar with, and just to grant ANA an authority or permission to submit your VAT return for you. I've already done that bit, so I'm just gonna X that, and I'll take you straight to our section here. Once you've actually connected, what I will show you. So once you've actually connected to HMRC, what Anna will do is retrieve all your information from your HMRC portal, which is your previous VAT returns and also your VAT obligations, which are due in the near future, which is the periods that you want to submit your VAT return for. So all you need to do is select the VAT period that you're planning to submit a VAT return for, and then it will show you the two different methods that Anna offers in how you can submit your VAT return to HMRC. The first method is our recommended method which is by using our VAT automated tool and function. This is our paid service which is only £6 a month um, inclusive of VAT so actually it's only £5 a month as a cost to the business and what you do with this is you connect your business current account and it will automatically categorise all your transactions and automatically prepare your final figures for your VAT return so that you don't have to do any of that manual intervention in preparation. All you need to do is review the figures and if you're happy with them confirm that you're happy to get them submitted to HMRC. So it's a quicker and more efficient way in submitting and preparing your VAT return. Alternatively, we have our free tool, which um, expects more manual intervention from you. It's compatible to XLS spreadsheets, so you need to make sure that you're preparing your VAT return within a spreadsheet. If you already do that, that's great, that's fine. You can just upload your particular spreadsheet. Just make sure that within one of the tabs, it's your final nine figures for your VAT return are clearly stated so the actual tool can read the figures easily and prepare them to submit for HMRC. If you, don't use a temp if you don't use a spreadsheet yourself at the moment, then you can download one of our templates. We have a standard rate template here and a flat rate schemes template if you're on the flat rate scheme. And all you need to do is complete the actual uh, tabs of it with all your sales and expenses information and it will prepare the final figures for your VAT return. Once you've done that, you basically need to upload your file as so. I have a file here that I'm uploading and it will read your information and tell you the final figures of your VAT return based on what's in the spreadsheet. Just double check that you're happy with those figures. If you are and they match your spreadsheet figures, then great. All you need to do is click confirm. You need to just tick your declaration that the information is true and complete and submit VAT return to HMRC and it's basically been submitted. It's confirming that your VAT return was filed to HMRC and you can also check that on your Government Gateway portal if you like. But it's literally as simple as that. So good luck with your filing.